<laughs> it's been a while. I thought I would just breeze through it when I did that last video. Because I only had a few more pages left and normally when I can already see the finish line, I can just sprint at it. But it turned out I had a number of things that dropped on my lap and so I had to set this aside for a few weeks and a few more weeks and a few more weeks. I actually lost my momentum for two months. But last night, I was able to get back at it. And it was more challenging than I thought. Because not only is this the thumbnailing stage, which is the toughest part of the comic book creation process for me, because it's the part where I have to create something out of nothing. It's when I have to draw something on a blank sheet of paper. Even though I do have a narrative that I wrote to guide me uh, what needs to happen during the scene, I still have to interpret what I wrote because the way I write my comic book stories is the same way you would write a short story or a novel. It's written in prose. It could stand on its own and it leaves a lot to the imagination. So those parts I would need to flesh out visually. So last night I spent quite some time staring at a blank sheet of paper trying to figure out what I should draw. And whenever I feel stuck that way, it always helps to just put pencil on paper and just make marks and shapes and just draw by feel. It's kind of like playing a musical instrument by ear. I would just keep drawing erase, redraw, until something starts to feel right. But if I feel that it's not panning out the way I hoped it would, then I know I have to let it go. <laughs> Leave it half-baked and just take a nap. And so when I woke up and I looked at my faint drawing with fresh eyes, that's when an image emerged in my mind and I was able to follow through and lay in more concrete lines. And so I was able to finish drawing the panels on the first page. Now, as much as I wanted to keep going to the second page, it was getting late and I had to wake up early the next day. But I knew if I stopped then, I would have to repeat the whole process again the following day because I haven't regain my groove yet. So I thought of doing my future self a favor by just laying in some quick rough sketches on the second page to help me get started the following day, give me a little boost. Because I find that it's a lot easier to improve on a bad drawing than it is to start from scratch. So I just had to draw something, anything. So. It didn't matter in which order I drew it, that's why I started drawing on the third panel on the second page and worked my way backwards. And eventually, in that process, as I fleshed out the rough sketch, it reminded me of a, a visual element that would go well on the second panel of the first page. And so I went back and added it, which is the train tracks. Since I haven't been drawing thumbnails for this book, for this picture book, it feels a little bit like getting to know someone for the first time again. You know, I have to recall how I drew the different characters and how I fleshed out their environment and how I, I drew the landscape. <laughs> and so tonight, I'm gonna go improve on those rough sketches on those bad drawings that I did last night and hopefully I can get my groove back.